Uh, before we kind of get into that, uh, I want to talk a little bit about why we do testing, right? It's most people, it's kind of like a necessary evil. Um, and uh, I, I usually refer to this kind of image that uh, of programmers that most of these, uh, you know, if you go to movies or watch some TV shows, the image of a typical computer programmer is this really nerdy looking guy sitting in like a dark basement typing code furiously. And you know, the, the faster he types, the more awesome a programmer he is, right? He's, he's typing code and then all these, this green text is flying all over the screen. Um, you know, since you're attending this and since you're listening to this, you know that that's not the reality for most of computer programming. Most of computer programming, you have you know, certain steps you need to follow and it's not just typing furiously that makes you a good computer programmer. Uh, when you approach a coding challenge, there are certain steps that you follow, right? So you start with designing your solution. You have a big system that you want to build or even a small problem that is a part of that big system. You're trying to solve that particular problem. You first design it. You, you kind of come up with the approach of how you're going to solve the problem. And then once you've figured out the approach, you write code. Finish coding, implementation, what's the next thing you do? The immediate next thing you do, you run it to verify that that works. Right? So this is the typical bare minimum stuff that you have to do to get functionality out the door. Uh, when you're writing tests, however, what you're gonna be doing is slightly different. You're gonna be doing the same design. You're gonna be writing the code, but instead of testing it, you're gonna be writing the tests, okay? So testing is the boring part, right? You, when you're finishing the code and then you verify all the different use cases, manually test it, that gets boring. But then if you were to write the test, you are still kind of in the coding phase, so it's not as boring as manually testing. Uh, so I guess it's a win, and then you have the running the test part when you when you run the test that you've written and make sure that that works. So instead of manually testing it, you're gonna be writing the code and then running those tests to make sure it's it's doing what you want it to do. But now here's the question, if you're doing the same thing anyway, if you're writing the test and running it, uh, why not just run it manually, right? So if you're, you have written the code, you execute the code and then verify that it works, why not just do that instead of writing the test and then running it? So here's the important distinction here. It's not just about verifying that your code works now it is when you write a test, what you're doing is you're providing a way for you to verify as many times as you want in the future, okay? So when you're writing tests, a lot of people forget this. You're not just testing the state of the code as it is now. You are testing the state of the code. You're providing the facility to test the state of the code into the future, right? Uh, so this is a code that I had mentioned to some other person earlier, and I think it's really apt when you think about testing. The point of writing automated tests is not so much to verify that the code works now. It is to verify on an ongoing basis that the code continues to work in the future. So when you write a test case, someone else makes a change to your code, they're gonna be running your test case, and if they break the functionality, your test case is gonna catch it. And this is not something you can do with manual testing. And that's kind of the whole reason why everybody says you gotta write your tests, you gotta be having some kind of a, a testing strategy and have automated tests because, well, you, you can be confident, even if you're 100% sure that you verified the code right now, who's to say that it's not gonna break in the future, right? So this is kind of providing that uh, safety net for any future regression issues. Uh, 